What is up, every people? This is Jason G. Willikers with another episode of Thrill Me Games, please. Tonight, because I promised my son I would, uh, I am going to play Mr. Hop's Playhouse. No. It's put out by Moonbit Studios. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it. I played with my son earlier, who insisted I get the game. <laughs> and, uh, we got the, uh, what was it, the escape ending. So now I'm going to try one more time to get all the secrets, everything I can. Yes, let's start a new game. And for some reason my, uh, my run does not work. So if I die a few times, that's why. Dad, can you take Mr. Hop tonight? He scares me. Don't be silly, Ruby. What would Nana think of you saying that? She made him just for you. I'll leave your light light on. Try to get some sleep. Yeah, I said light light. There he goes. Mom? Dad? Ooh, 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 ooh. Got a controller. Run! Run, Ruby, run! Run! Oh. There you go. What was I doing last time that was wrong? Whee! <laughs> Mom, Jenna, me, Ruby, Dad, David. Of course, his name is David. <gasps> yeah. Okay, it's working now. I don't know what I was doing wrong earlier. Footsteps are loud. Make sure it's safe before coming out of hiding. I don't think I need to go up there yet. Go, 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 go. Carefully listen to your surroundings. Dad? Where are you? Go back to bed. You know what? We're gonna try that. We're gonna try to go back to bed. Oh, there he is. Rat, Mr. Hop? Oh, snap. Leave the house. No, I want to go back to bed. So much better with the, uh... Headphones in. Because... You can tell... Where he's at. I was going off from the, uh... Computer speakers earlier. I could tell when he left a little bit, but it's not nearly as cool as this. Okay, we're gonna go with this ending. The end. Ending. Sleep tight. Ruby insisted it was all a bad dream and went back to bed. Maybe that was a mistake. What? Darn. That means I have to uh, go back and step on all the toys again. Cool, and I don't have to step on all of them. There he is. Step on that one. Now I'm taking suggestions for video games. For computer games. Uh, horror. I'm mainly into horror, but because this aspect of my channel is still young, um, I'm just looking for anything to uh, pave the way. So whatever you like to watch, whatever you like to play, let me know in the comments below. Huh. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. And maybe we can, uh, we can play sometime. 
She really needs to learn to clean her room. Mom? Dad? Yeah, Markiplier. Mr. Hops has a case of at you for. Looking at you and he's looking for you. Run, run, run. Run. Oh, oh I gotta step on him anyway. Can't believe the eggs. <laughs> Mom? Uh, darn. Keep hitting the wrong button. A sticky note attached reads, under the mirror. My son, he loves watching Markiplier. Markiplier. My son loves watching Markiplier. Um, anniversary, 18th April. And, uh... When he saw my first gaming video on YouTube, he insisted I play Mr. Hop. Alright, I'll do that. But he will not play it with me. He'll watch me play it. It took him a little time to actually want to do that. His sister wanted to play it immediately. She's only a year and a half. She gets her cravings of uh, horror from Daddy. Mommy. Daddy. Daddy, where are you? Remember that great mouse detective? Disney. Old movie. September 8th. Jenna, Ruby, and I went to see Esther yesterday. Ruby always loves seeing her grandmother. Nana, she calls her. She's not been doing so well in recent months. We went around the other weekend, and she was just staring at the wall. We had to really shake her to snuff her out of it. And then she was just fine, like nothing had happened. God knows how long she'd been doing that for. We've booked her in for a doctor's appointment. I'm supposed to be recording ideas for a new novel. Task, find the tapes. Mr. Hops don't look so good, his eyes are all gone and stuff. No, no, go. Just get. September 14th. Jenna and I stopped to see Esther again today. The place was filthy. I'm not sure how it would have gotten so bad so quickly. Esther doesn't seem to be keeping herself clean either, and it's almost like she doesn't. And it's almost like she didn't recognize us. Her appointment is tomorrow. Jenna is worried she might have to go into care. I'll keep this documented. I hope Ruby doesn't have to see her like this. September 15th. As of recording this, Esther is in the hospital. Her neighbors called the police in the early hours of the morning because they could hear her screaming. She'll be here for a few days. We told Ruby that she had a fall and that she's okay. We're waiting on a diagnosis. Still can't get out. 
September 17th. We took Ruby to the hospital to see her nana. Esther made a soft toy for her called Mr. Hop, a small rabbit. Esther always knitted her clothes and toys. Ruby was thankful, but I must admit, the toy does have a look to it. Something quite unsettling. Bing. <laughs> Mr. Hop. I'm the Easter Bunny, and everybody loves me. Did you ever watch, uh... Easter egg morning. That is a classic. Very underrated. Completely forgotten about. Yeah, I saw it. I tried to grab it. There it is. Oh my god. That's not Peter Cottontail in Easter egg morning. It's Speedy Cottontail. Obviously, it's about. The Easter Bunny, and uh, where he gets his eggs. Um, the uh, <laughs> Henrietta, the main hen, is completely jealous that the Easter Bunny is feeding him. Hello? Ruby? It's Mark from next door. Is everything okay there? I've been trying to call for hours. Hello? Ruby? Speedy Cottontail gets all the credit for delivering the eggs when it's clearly not he who is laying them. So she and the other hens start a sort of move and try to paint the eggs and deliver them themselves. Needless to say, it doesn't go well while he's trying to find other eggs that he can paint and deliver. It's a cute little show. It's on YouTube. Uh, 26 minutes long, I think. Easter Egg Morning. Check it out. Yeah, I'm talking about a happy kids show and this poor little girl is running for a lot. September 19th. We just had a call. Esther passed away in her sleep. The doctors couldn't give us a diagnosis and even said this sudden passing is bizarre. We will have to tell Ruby when she gets home from school. This isn't going to be easy on any of us. That I looked into the forest of hell when she saw. And Mr. Hop never bothers her in her bedroom, except for that one ending. I figured at some point that would be, you know, his staring in from the window, maybe. That'd be creepy. And this daggum statue, I know there's something about it. Because there are all these secrets um, to unlock. And I know that has something to do with it. Because it's the only statue in the house like that. Unlike all these toys. <laughs> but for a little bit. It's like seven or eight. Who should be way more full of energy? She seems to be a little out of shape. Uh, I was just trying something. So, how have your days been? Anything exciting happening? And so, let me know in the comments below. Even if it's not exciting, I still want to know. Here we go. September 22nd. 
Ruby hasn't been on her best behavior since the news. We had to take her slingshot away since she wouldn't stop firing pellets at the toy rabbit. She said it protects her from it. It's just a toy. We've had to lock the slingshot away since Ruby kept finding it. Jenna keeps the key under the house plant in the hall, I think. Okay, now let's see if we can find any more of these uh, secrets. Impatient! I tell you, when I was uh, trying to play this earlier with my son, um, my run wasn't working. So I got very frustrated, almost rage quit. Then I decided to uh, just try and play with the keyboard, which works. I don't know why she doesn't call 911. You're going the wrong way! <sighs> Rabbits. Just go. Just... Oh, barnacles. <laughs> I don't know why I stood up. Or went somewhere. Did anything like that? Go, go, go. All things considered, it's a nice house. Like, what, three stories? Wait, your float to, your float to is one of the, uh, the achievements. Yeah, remember what it is. Anniversary doesn't change. Oops. Now it means business. Fine, Mr. Hop. I mean to get the fire starter ending. Did not mean to do that. Fight, Mr. Hop. Make that sucker pay. Startle you, young lady. Can I break it? Gonna see how far back I can go. Cause I cannot aim this thing. Can't knock the camera down like that. Oh! You should put my feet! I didn't mean that. Okay, so... This is the attic. Uh, and then the other... area is... The other area must be the basement. And that is where the... Go, go, go! <laughs> Where the, uh, you will float to achievement.
even if you're a parent. You go into the store, the kids are like, it doesn't even look interesting. But they have to touch it. That was me. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. Mama. Mama. She's ready. Look at her. She knows how to hold that slingshot. Dang, but I imagine her fingers will get tired. Just holding it straight and steady. absolute genius uh, because everybody's seen those horrifying vintage Easter Bunny costumes and it's like put that towards something it's definitely worth uh, definitely worth the time but, anyway, that was Mr. Hop's Playhouse. You've seen it here, you've seen it all over the internet, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, promise my son how to play it. I'll uh, see what I can do to get the fire started and ending next time. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Throw Me Games Plays. If you liked it, press the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. If you want me to play a game that you really enjoy playing, or that you're putting out, write the title in the comments section below. But finally, and most important of all, ring that bell so you can stay caught up with Thrill Me Games. And as a bonus, you also get notifications about my art segment, G Workers Art Presents. I post those every week. I'm going to try to post a game a day. Uh, if not, then a game every two days. I'm going to do whatever I can to make you happy. Again, thank you all for watching. I will see you 